Well, with that shifting focus uh, back to developments uh, from back home, let's take stock of how the markets fared in trade today. The Lal Street failed to hold on to opening gains to end Monday near the day's low. Sensex lost over 300 points to close half a percent lower, while the Nifty fell over 100 points. Financials were the major drag, with the Nifty Bank falling over 1 percent. However, mid caps outperformed to end mildly in the green. BSC companies raised the market cap of close to 1 lakh crore rupees today. Well, we told you first and now it's official. The union government has opposed Hindustan Zinc's plan to acquire Vedanta's global zinc assets. Government sources have said that it aims to vote against this proposal at the EGM. EZL shares were hit uh, one month low in intraday trade today on the back of this uh, government opposing the buyout of Vedanta's zinc assets. Sapna Das is standing by with more details. Sapna. I think the government's position is not going to change, uh, uh, especially after the exchange filing. We have been very clearly given to understand that, uh, uh, you know, questions, any kind of question in terms of open to uh, talks or discussion or some kind of a settlement, uh, these are questions which not should not be asked, uh, you know, especially now that the government's position is public and uh, stated. Uh, having said that, I think from the word go, the government was very clear that they would uh, basically vote out HRL in the EGM. Uh, and that, uh, you know, power comes from the fact that the government holds more than 25% stake in HRL. And, uh, uh, you know, any kind of a special resolution needs three-fourths majority uh, to get passed. Uh, and if the government opposes it, then it's quite possible that this deal will actually not go through in the EGM. I think the government has been counting on that since day one, and that's why the opposition has been very clear from the word go. Uh, this is what the position is as of now. Also in terms of any kind of a, uh, you know, the matter going to court. Well, I think if the government opposes this in the EGM, then the question of taking the battle to court also doesn't arise. Although the government has said in the exchange filing today that uh, they, uh, they will also explore some kind of legal option. So this is what it is as of now and just uh, keeping an eye on when that EGM is going to be held. We have a three months time uh, period after the board meeting to conduct or convene shareholders meeting. And we also need to have approval from majority of the minority shareholders for the deal to go through. So those are the, the rest is all process. So we are going through the process right now. Government and Ministry of Mines is the important stakeholder in our business. They were 29 and a half percent of shares. So I'm always in touch with them for all matters of, of uh, strategic importance to the company. I'm very, yeah, it will be an OFS. It cannot be anything other than OFS. And I'm very, very hopeful that before March, we should have this uh, in the best interest.